They spent decades diving shipwrecks from the First and Second World Wars. Two brothers who then decided to search for something different. One picked up this book and discovered the Gloucester. Then he picked up the phone and called his brother. I said, are you up for a new adventure um, and go looking for the Gloucester, sank in 1682, cannon everywhere potentially, and he was just in there like a flash. It took four years, but they eventually found the ship's watery grave 45 kilometers off the coast of Norfolk. I could see um, dark shadow on the seabed, so you, you know you're on some wreck. I and mean, I just knelt there, took the moment in, for probably five minutes mm -hmm. and just, 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 just unbelievable. Just one I'll never forget. That was 15 years ago. For security reasons, it's been a secret until now. If you're a super naval history geek like me, maritime history geek like me, this is the best news ever. This historian has been in on the secret for more than a decade. It wasn't until the ship's bell was discovered in 2012 that it was confirmed as the Gloucester, a royal shipwreck carrying the Duke of York, who became King James II. He survived, but an estimated 200 others did not. It had royals on board, it had aristocrats on board, it had posh people on board, so we got lots of in very interesting objects. Navigational equipment, personal possessions, even unopened bottles of wine. One bearing the crest of ancestors of U.S. President George Washington. So we're trying to work out scientific ways of having a little, can we get a little tiny probe into in the cork without damaging that cork and suck a little bit of wine out. This is exciting scientific news. And this is just the beginning as researchers work to uncover even more history, a time capsule of life more than 300 years ago. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.